<laughs> Let us praise the Lord. Let us come into his house and bring our praise. For he is worthy. Worthy, worthy. Are you ready? Got it? What? Oh. <laughs> Did you turn the back on? Jesus on the inside, working on the outside. Oh, what a change in my life. Jesus on the inside, working on the outside. Oh, what a change in my life. Jesus on the inside, working on the outside. Oh, what a change in my life. Oh. change in my life well, Jesus on the inside he's working on the outside oh what a change in my life oh Jesus on the inside working on the outside oh what a change in my life oh Working on the outside, oh, what a change in my life. Jesus on the inside, working on the outside, oh, what a change in my life. Jesus on the inside, working on the outside, oh, what a change in my life. Jesus on the inside, working on the outside. Oh, what a change in my life. Yes, Jesus on the inside, working on the outside. Oh, what a change in my life. put that course on my mind last night I thought you know that's just exactly how the physical body works is we heal from the inside when there's a problem Amen. God just we're, he just knows he's just so awesome the creator that, that made us is so amazing yes. so when we're born again that change takes place on the inside and it begins to work out on the outside. Our attitudes change, our kind, the way we walk changes, the kind we look changes. And I just praise God that praise His God. healing Thank starts on the inside, yes, whether it, it be physical or spiritual. It starts all on the inside and works to the outside. Praise God. The word is working mightily in me. 
The Word is working mightily in me. No matter what the circumstances, what I feel or see, the Word is working mightily in me. Oh, the Word, word is, is working mightily in me. The Word is working mightily in me. No matter what the circumstances, what I feel or see, the Word is working mightily in me. The Word is working mightily in me. The Word is working mightily in me. Oh, yes. in me. No matter what the circumstances, what I feel or see, the Word is working mightily in me. The Word is working mightily in me. The Word is working mightily in me. No matter what the circumstances, what I feel or see, the Word is working mightily in me. The Word is working mightily in me. Yes, the Word is working mightily in me. No matter what the circumstances, what I feel or see, the Word is working mightily in me. The Word is working mightily in me. The Word is working mightily in me. No matter what the circumstances, what I feel or see, the Word is working mightily in me. The Word is working mightily in me. The Word is working mightily oh, yeah. in me. No matter what the circumstances, what I feel or see, the Word is working mightily in me. Amen. Father, we just praise yes, you. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord, Hallelujah. because you are thank the you, Father healer. God of all situations. Lord, we just lift those up Hallelujah. to you today that are sick and Hallelujah. in bed. We lift them up we to you, God. You, we Lord thank Jesus. you, Lord. Hallelujah. We give you praise and glory and thank honor you, Lord. Thank for your love and your mercy you. that you bestowed upon us. We thank you, Lord, that you prepared the way that we might have life and have yes. it more abundantly. You, we thank just you. thank you, Lord. We praise you. We're grateful today, Lord, that yes. because you are so real. I thank you, Lord, how you're moving in all of the hearts and the lives of your people. Thank you, Lord. We glorify you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, the word can't help but work mightily in us because it's full of power yes. and might. So if we put it in us, the only way it can work is mightily. Amen. So just keep that in mind when you're putting that word in there. Hallelujah. Yes. Oh, I love this family of God. So closely knit into one. They've taken me into their hearts and I'm so glad to Great family. Oh, I love this family of God. So closely knitted into one. They've taken me into their hearts. And I'm so glad to be a part of this great family. Oh, I Great family. Move about and shake hands and hug one another as we sing this again. Oh, I love, I love this family of God. So closely knitted into one. They've taken me into their hearts. And I'm so glad to be a part of this great family. Closely knitted into 
seated. Uh, can you move that down so I can see over it? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's all right. You're good. <clears throat> We're going to do something a little different today. We just sang about being part of the family of God. Uh, Dave Richardson's house is at 31 degrees. And Kevin, their son, brought over a heater for their bedroom. I just feel compelled to get him out of there <coughs> he's part of the family of God so we're going to pray for some people uh, Wanda's brother is doing a little bit better but we want it a lot better yes. his name is Chuck uh, we'll pray for Dave uh, other people are out of water today the sun's just froze up <laughs> and, and cold. Yeah, Rick's but, uh, water's froze up too, by the way. Huh? Rick's water's froze up too. R Rick's. Oh, Rick's, okay. Okay. Father, in the name of Jesus, these are just so important. Father, we lift up Chuck to you. I don't know his spiritual condition at all, and it doesn't matter to me, but it matters to you. And I thank you, Father, by the grace of God and by the mercy of God. Touch him today in a way that he'll know Hallelujah. it's been you. Thank you, Lord, for what improvement we've seen. But I think it's going to get better. Father, we lift up Dave to you. Even though his diagnosis has been pretty bad. Lord, only you can give us an expiration date. Doctors can't. Their, their diagnosis is based on statistics. But I thank you, Father. You can surpass statistics. Help us, Lord. Give us wisdom how to, how to come together to get Dave out of that place today. Thank you, Lord. Lord, you know how to do it, how to put it together. <laughs> All those that are out of water today, help them, Lord, to be able to get their water going, unfrozen, thawed out. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You care for all of us. And I praise you for it in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Oh, there's power. <laughs> In prayer, there's power to spell. All that you'll ever need is waiting right there. A few words, a child's faith, and it's good.
there's power in prayer. Oh, there's power in prayer. There's power to spare all that you'll ever need. said we was going to do something different. Uh, Angie, I talked to her about doing it later, but uh, I want you to do it now and again uh, maybe in a month or two. Angie's a prolific writer. And uh, I, I don't want to give her <laughs> give her punchline away, but sometimes we think we're crackpots. And... Uh, a full pot that's not cracked is better than me. But I want her to come and just read to you her her writing. I'm encouraging her to put these little things, these little chapters in a book. I've, I've got a little more knowledge than I had a year ago about how to do that. Still not real good, but <laughs> I'd like to see you put that in a book. And hold this mic close to your lips. If you're too loud, Jeremy will take care of it. Most of you know that God totally healed me like 10 days ago, or I don't know what the date is, but totally healed me from being just very, very in bad shape, in bed and moaning, and I just knew to thank God, and I just kept saying, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Jesus. And Golden, I could see he was, he was right beside me, and he was praying, so I w put my head down to agree in prayer with him. Uh, all of a sudden, I had my my whole body hurt. My whole body. It's really hard to explain uh, what COVID does, but I was instantly, instantly healed from the top of my Praise head to God. the bottom of my feet. That was Amen. very, very Amen. big blessing. So it's changed me around. Uh, I just want you to know this is how I am today, and when I see you tomorrow. I'll, I'll let you know how I'm doing then. I take it a day <laughs> at a time. Amen. And that's, that's what God told me to do, take it a day at a time. So uh, I hope you get something out of this. I want to tell you something this morning that you already know. Uh, we all have flaws. I think we can all agree on that. Uh, I want to list a few of mine. <laughs> and this was so funny as I was writing because you, I, that's, that's me. Over at least 30, 40 years, that's who I've been. Um, I would think if only I had a better attitude or better personality, are more outgoing. I know I could be popular, and I remember in school, you know, I felt like this. But what if I was taller? What then? Our creator of the universe has taken special care to make sure each and every one of us is made in his, in his specification. Does that mean God made us the way he intended? The flaws were his design all along. Remember this. Nothing about you is by accident. Nevertheless, God wants us to still reach our potential. I want to tell you a story that might help you along your way. There was this lady, an elderly Chinese woman. She had two large pots that hung on the end of her poles that she rested on her neck. 
and every day she would walk from her house down to the stream to get fresh water. One of the pots had a small crack in it. The other pot was perfect. When she would come back from the long walks from the stream, the stream, the pot with the crack would only be about half full because it leaked out. Week, week by week, month by after month, the perfect pot was so proud of his accomplishments, he always brought a full pot of water, not spilling a drop. But this pot with the cracks, it was a little embarrassed, even ashamed of its imperfections. One day it said to the elderly lady, I really feel bad because I don't like, I don't feel like I measure up. I'm only delivering about half of what I was supposed to. The woman said, have you noticed that there are flowers on your side of the path? It's from the water that leaked out. That's because I've always known about your flaw, so I planted seeds from the stream of your water. So along the way right now, uh, I'm sorry, for a long while now, I picked beautiful flowers, I filled my house, I shared flowers with the neighbors on each side of me. I have been so blessed. Without you being just the way you are, where would you be with all this beauty? Every one of us have unique flaws and weaknesses, which we could easily be down on ourselves or think this way. The good news is, just like this lady, God knows how to use a cracked pot. He knows just where to plant those seeds so nothing with, it, with the things that we're dealing with will be wasted. And when you are tempted to be against yourself and focus on your flaws, everyone remember, God is not finished with you yet. You may not realize it, but while God is working, he's picking flowers. I'm sorry, I'm getting dry mouth. He's using that perfection that's a part of his design. God knows how to get good from every situation. The truth is, we're all a bunch of cracked pots. We all have faults, weaknesses, things we wish were di different, but we choose to live in victory. You first have to be satisfied with the pot that God gave you. Be the best that you can be with what he has given you. He didn't choose any of us because we were perfect. He chose us because he knows already what we can become. Don't, don't go through the rest of your life being against yourself. Now we know God wants us to get up every morning, put on that breastplate of God's approval, dare to say, I like myself just the way I am, just the way God made me. Not perfect, but I am willing to grow. Start acknowledging everything about good about yourself. That's what makes your faith effective. If you want, if you would do this, you could change to the better. Our church services could change to the better because we'd be intertwined with each other and it would make our church awesome. And then where can we go from there? God only knows. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. So what we think is a flaw may not be a flaw. <laughs> it may be a different type of ministry. Amen. Well, uh, I'm on a cane, <laughs> and uh, Terry's on a cane. We've had both had surgeries, so we're kind of out. <laughs> Golden lives in Blue Springs, so he's kind of out. So we're, and Norm got a hospital to go to, so we're down to uh, Jeremy and Nick and Jamie. Somehow or another, we'll coordinate, somehow or another, get Dave out of that trailer today. I'll need your help probably, okay? So anyway, we're going to dismiss with that. And uh, since we're all part of the family of God, I feel like his situation is so important for us to 
get him out of that cold place. And it, yes. Okay. So, it'd take what now? Okay. Well, you guys are going to the hospital from here, right? Huh? Okay. I'm not discrediting you, Norm. I just want, want you to be free to go to the hospital because your brother-in-law is important too. So, okay, let's just stand. <coughs> yes. Okay. All right. What's his name? Father, we lift up Robert to you. Thanking you, Lord, that you know the whole situation from the beginning to end and all in between. So we lift up Robert and that entire family to you. Thanking you, Lord, for your mercy and your grace in this time in his life. In Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. What do you got, Carla? Good plan. That's all right. That sounded pretty good. Let's end with a little chorus. It's like God speaking to us and saying, I am the Lord, your healer, our provider, our protector, everything that we need. One more time, Carla. I am the God that he left me. I am the Lord, your forget those that we ask prayer for just breathe their name as you think about them today God's always at work Dave Richardson told me something one time he said sometimes we just pray and forget it he said you go to the doctor and he gives you pills and you get to feeling better a lot of time we just quit taking them but we're supposed to take them till they're all gone <laughs> so uh, I believe our prayers work today but just keep that on your mind Chuck Dave, who else? And also Bronna. Robert. Uh, Bronna, too. Bronna, too, yes. Father, we lift up Bronna to you. Thank you, Father. She just don't want to go on dialysis. And, Lord, there's a way to get around that, and you, you can do that. We seem helpless of what we can do. But, Lord, you can help her body to function where she don't have to go on dialysis. In Jesus' name, amen. I do want to say thank you for all you that went over to help
helped with uh, singing last week. And uh, even though they had COVID over there, I guess. And, but anyway, it's such a help when you all go help them sing. The first time just me and Larry went. And it's difficult to try to help get them when there's not but his voice and mine, you know. So anyway, God bless you. Don't forget the uh, first Sunday next month we'll be going back to nursing home. And guys, this next Saturday at 8 o'clock is our men's fellowship breakfast. So uh, we have a, a, a good speaker coming and uh, speak to us, and it'll be about an hour in time. If we could come a little earlier than than 8 so we can get uh, do our eating first. <laughs> God bless you. Shake hands because hey, you're friend. Yeah. Yes, sir. That service, uh, I heard a lot of good from the service last Sunday. Everybody seemed to appreciate it that I've talked to, and it just really was the spirit was really working. But the thing I want to say is I, I went through a lot the last three years. Uh -huh. I mean, and I haven't testified much or talked much about it, but uh, other than to Linda, and I'm sure she got sick of hearing <laughs> the aches and the pains and the groans, <laughs> groaning, but oh, I, I got so sick of it. I, I got to a place where I asked God once just to take me out of here, just take me home. And uh, and I'll be honest with you, there was a couple of times I even thought about doing it for myself. You don't realize what kind of stress people are going through and what the mind does. And I talked to one of my doctors about it, that one of the pain doctors, and he said, yeah, he was really good at talking with me, and, and he just really helped me a lot in that area. But... I'm saying all this to say if you see someone hurting, don't just pray for their body. Pray for their mind. Yes, amen. Because that's, that's where all the stress comes from. And I had so much stress. And I had, it had lightened up, but then it hit me again. Mm -hmm. You get to wondering if I could ever walk on my own again. But I know I can, and amen. I will. Amen, amen. I, I believe that. Yes, amen. But... I went down for prayer last Sunday, and some of that stress was coming back. And I had built up so much anger inside, I didn't even realize it. Uh -huh. I, I, I was so angry. And, and, and there was hatred almost. But it wasn't for others, it was for myself. Sure. And I and I just I would ask God how I just went and got surgery for my back. How come I? It was supposed to help me, not hurt me. Right. But uh, in, anyway, He knows it all, and I I know it's that part of that's really in a lot better shape. But yes, I, they were praying for me, and because uh, I was so concerned with that anger, and, and I didn't want it come back I, yeah. I I felt it years ago I hate it it's it's such a demonic force it just it does something to you and uh, I, I, I just couldn't hardly bear it anymore and I went down and, and Jimmy was praying for me and they started praying for my back and my you know m my body and uh, all at once, Sonia, she just broke out. I mean, she got loud. Yeah. She screamed right <laughs> in my ear, and it, my, I just, my head just went straight up. And my back popped, and she, she looked at me, and she said, I heard that. And I said, well, I felt it. But when she spoke to me, she said, we're tired of this. We're sick of this. You've got to go. Amen. You're healed, Terry. You're going to be healed. Yes. And my whole life has changed since then. Praise God. Amen. I, I just, I, I don't Amen. feel that anger anymore. And I, and I don't want it. And anything that comes up that yes. even comes close to making me get angrier or feel right. 
stressed out. I try to avoid it. I get away from it, and I start praising God. Amen. But I, I just thank God for that. I just I just praise him. And, and if you anyone that you know that's hurting or been through a lot in the last little bit, the next chance you get, and they'll allow you to lay hands on them. Yes. Touch them. There's something about that touch. Hands on their head. Pray for their mind. Because it, your, the mind needs healing worse than the body. Because when the body and the mind come into alignment, the body's made to heal itself. Yeah. And God can work. Yes. God can't work against that anger and that stress and that doubt. He just can't. Amen. Let me add Thank something you. to that. God's in all of us. Be sensitive to the God that's in you. Some people's not on a cane or a crutch or a wheelchair need it as much. They even may be smiling. Be sensitive to everybody you come in contact with that may be stressed. I've said this before, and I'll say it again. Uh, when people come in that door that we don't know, and maybe you haven't invited them, they just come on their own, and they come in smiling, they might have had a son that just went to prison. They might have had a diagnosis of cancer. They're hunting something. They may have had another diagnosis of their own, of, of something bad. They may be out of money. They may have all kinds of situations just because they come in grinning. So I encourage you, when new people come, be quick to shake hands with them. I'll not be mad if you miss me because I'll catch you the next time. <laughs> but go to them. And all of you that's sitting in that area over there when they come in that door, just get out of your seat and give them a hug. I don't care if I'm preaching. I don't care if we're singing. If you come in that back door and somebody knows them back there, just go back there and say, come sit with me. Make people feel at home, feel, feel love. You know, Hannah said something to me the other day that encouraged me a lot. She said, when we come in the door, there's an aroma of love here. I don't know how much she needed that, her and Nick. But, you know, everybody wants to feel loved. Everybody wants that. Even Moses back there raised his hand just now. Moses, you are loved, buddy. Jordan, you're loved. You're, you, you two boys are important to us. Amen. Amen. Very important to us. Father, I just bless these folks in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that your love... <laughs> And your mercy has been extended to all of us. And Lord, when somebody's sick, help us to remember their spouse. Because they go through stress, too, of a different nature. And Father, we not only lift up Terry, we lift up Linda, too. In the name of Jesus. Sometimes our spouses don't know what to do next. Maybe it don't feel good to us, but maybe that's what we need. <laughs> Lord, we lift up Larry Weiniger today. He was diagnosed this week with Parkinson's. And uh, we lift him up to you. Thank you, Lord. You're bigger than Parkinson's. In Jesus' name, amen. I want to tell you something. Parkinson's not a killer, as we think. I drive, drove a truck with a Walmart driver, and we meet once a month for breakfast. He told us last month he's had Parkinson's since he was young, and he's 75. Sometimes we get these diagnoses, we think that's the end. That's it. You know, I heard somebody say yesterday, uh, our expiration date ain't written. Did you see this, Jeremy? Our expiration date ain't written on the bottom of our foot. Jamie, okay. You know, God's got that. 
just because the doctor says such and such doesn't always make it so. He's based all of his knowledge on statistics. So God is bigger. Amen. Have a good week. God hey, Dad, bless. just a second. Tina just texted me. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. She just sent me a picture of herself. She's not good. Will you pray for her? Absolutely. Linda, pray for Tina. She's also got a spot on her eye. out. Do you know what's caused that, Linda? Have you heard? Okay. It's now a complete circle around her eye. She just sent uh, me a picture. Okay. Father, in the name of yes, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. We lift Tina to you. We send the word to her right now, wherever she is. I thank you, God, that the word is Jesus manifest in the flesh. And he can take care of every situation in her life. And Father, we just speak healing to her right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Father. We command healing to start taking place. Praise God. In her thank physical you, body and in her her spiritual affairs with you. Yes, Lord. God, we know that she loves you. Yes. We know that she's a miracle walking. Yes, she is. And I thank you, Lord, that you're, you've are you not brought her this far to drop her, but you'll carry her on through to perfect healing in her body in Jesus' name. Amen. When you see Tina buzzing around in here doing things, remember, she's got a pacemaker, a defibrillator, and light. Was it last year or year before last? They have a record. She's dead for nine minutes. God is a healer. Amen. Have a good day, a good week. Thanks for being here.